um, James Kramer. I work seasonally in Florida with uh, FWC out of Eustis from January to May. And then I go out to Alaska working for the Park Service, doing salmon monitoring from June to November, and take December off and start it all, all over again. Recently I've been working on a uh, small lake stocking study in, in Florida, and we're looking at the performance of two different hatchery raising techniques of largemouth bass. So we raised one group in ponds on live feed and another group in the raceways on pellets. And we stocked them into eight lakes, same numbers of each fish in eight lakes. And we're coming, we did that in 2015, so then we came back and sampled those lakes in 2016 and 2017. This year was the last year of the study. And we're just looking at survival and uh, contribution of each each group. See, so we can we put tags in each each group. So the live reared fish, the ones that are raised in ponds, have a tag in their left cheek, and the ones in the, that we raise in the raceways have a tag in their right cheek. So in, in the field, we can detect using a metal detector. See which cheek. So we found that survival overall was generally low, less than 1% on average for each group. Um, and I mean, that's not, that's expected, that's the, the norm for survival of stocking any lake. Um, but we found that the contribution of those fish to the population was different between lakes. So it ranged from 0 to 14% per group, um, with the highlight lake being uh, Lake Wahlberg which had 10% live reared contribution to the adult population, which is bass over 10 inches, and 12% contribution from the pellet reared. I mean, that's almost a quarter of the adult population stocked in 2015. We also stocked Wahlberg in 2012, doing a similar study. Um, but from that stocking event, we had 70% of the bass over seven pounds in Lake Wahlberg was from 2012 stocking and we did get one bass over eight pounds that we put a trophy tag in. We were working on helps fisheries managers make stocking decisions and helps them decide how many and uh, what treatment to use when, when they make stocking requests. And since the either treatment performs about the same, they can choose either live reared or pellet reared to put in their lakes depending on what the hatchery um, can produce. So by improving our stocking decisions, we'll streamline the processes at the hatchery so we can get more fish out to, to all water bodies to improve, improve those fisheries.